All right, you guys, I'm gonna start it up a little bit early just so we can get everybody in here and make sure I have this camera set up okay. <laughs> so I have this total rig of a chair and a board book and my desk is behind me because I wanted the light to not be behind me so you could actually see. Hi, Amber. So this will be the little couple minute introduction as we wait for people to kind of join in and we'll get started at 9.30, but I'm really excited about this because if you've been following us for a while, you already know that I'm completely hooked on Periscope and I think it is going to be the wave of the future. I think you can hear my daughter in the background. She's getting ready for a bike ride with her daddy. Um, so that's awesome. I'm glad I take full responsibility for everyone becoming addicted to Periscope because I love it. I'm so glad you love your spray pal. Thank you. Um, oh good. Hi Laura. I, I know because with these names they show your little username but I don't know exactly who you are. So if I know you in other realms of social media, maybe type your name so I know who you are. Yeah, I first thought Laura Lee, that you were that Laura. She's the Laura that does um, contributions to Dirty Diaper Laundry's blog. Hi, Desirea. Okay, cool. Um, so that's Desirea from Super Undies, right? I'm guessing. Um, hi, Sandy. Yay. Okay. Hi, Sue. I recognize your screen name. Oh, yeah, it says Super Undies right there, so I recognize you too. All right, so we can go ahead and get started. And the greatest thing about Periscope is that if you're broadcasting live like this, it's recording this whole video to my phone. So if I wanted to, I could then take this video from my phone camera roll and upload it to YouTube, which I did a little practice run of that when I did a tour of the Green Nursery when we were out with Sloom at um, Small Biz Big Love there. Um, I did a Periscope live from their store so people could see it without being there, but Periscope only keeps the live broadcast um, viewable for 24 hours. So if anyone wanted to see it after the fact, they wouldn't be able to if they didn't catch it within the 24 hours. So basically, I had it in my phone and I thought, I wonder what if, if I just put it onto YouTube, what will happen? And so now it's up on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, so people can still see it. So. That is kind of a cool little tip that I've been figuring out as I go. And I am really new to this too. So Periscope has only been on, around for about four months. And I just joined about a week and a half ago or so. So I'm totally learning. But I, as I said, I'm addicted. So I've been playing around with it a lot. Um, and I'm just wanting to share tips and get people to have a chance to ask questions if they have them. So I'm going to kind of, I have some notes here and I'm kind of going over them, but if you have questions, you can feel free to throw them in there and I'm trying to read as we go with your comments. Um, a lot of people right off the bat want to know what the hearts are for. And so if you tap your screen, it'll shoot the little hearts up over here. Yeah, there they go. And basically it's just like a like on Facebook, but the way I'm trying to figure out what it actually does as far as the algorithms for Periscope right now, and because it's so new, it's going to be um, hard to say, but I haven't found a real Periscope guide. Basically, if you're looking for a good guide, um, what I did was I just started following people on Periscope who have a lot of followers and have a lot of hearts under their name. So, hi, sweetie. Can you open this? Um, Sure. Put this on me. Sorry. I don't know if you can wear this to the beach, though. She wants to wear this to the beach. It's love. Where'd you get this? Katie. Katie gave it to you. That was so nice. Okay, maybe Daddy can help you um, put this on. Okay. I'm on the phone. okay. Yeah. Here you go. Come here. Take your take your pajamas off. I'm not going to. Anyways, the sorry. <laughs> so, um, basically, as far as I know, what the hearts do <laughs> is. Um, when you look at a person's profile, you'll see underneath it says hearts and it has like a number. And if I'm looking at somebody to see if they're kind of legit, if it doesn't have any hearts, I think you get one automatically for joining, but if it only has the one heart there, I kind of think, mm, I'm, I may not follow this person because I don't know that they're into it. Even big brands, some of them haven't moved over to Periscope from Twitter yet, so their accounts are here because it's connected with Twitter, but, um, but they haven't used Periscope yet, and I can tell because they don't have any hearts yet. So basically, um, I think the hearts kind of make you look legitimate. Let me close this door real quick. She's all dressed now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, we work from home here. <laughs> so, um, so basically the hearts kind of boost you up in that way as, as far as making your account look like you're using it and you're active and you're legitimate. But they also um, 
from what I have understood from other people speaking about it is that you know when you go in the home page and you're searching around and you're not broadcasting but you're just kind of lurking and stalking people stalking um, basically if you click on one of those numbers on the map to see somebody's live broadcast and you're scrolling through I think that the more hearts you have can boost you up higher into that search um, so I don't know if that makes a difference or not but basically it's just kind of a cool way to say yay I like what you're saying and it's like a Facebook like and you can give up to 500 per uh, time you enter a session so you can just keep tapping while you're watching if you want to and that kind of legitimizes our brand as a legit brand to follow on Periscope but um, it's totally up to you it's just kind of a fun thing I guess so okay other people have heard that too so that would be great if you guys want to tap away awesome we love it because then you know as we start talking more about cloth diapers and doing tutorials and things like that we can um, be seen by more people and that will make cloth mainstream so that's awesome I love the heart explosion thank you <laughs> so um, another thing I was gonna say a lot of people are wondering well how will I use this as a brand and that's kind of obviously since this is so new it's an exploration territory right now but I could see a lot of great use especially with cloth diapering brands as far as giving quick tutorials and having people tune in and watch and see oh speaking of this we can also share it too so I showed this in another periscope but I'll show it again because I know a lot of you guys are new and just learning how to use it you probably hear the trash truck going in my backyard right now because the window is open sorry about that um, but to share this so if you wanted to share with your followers that this was going on and that you want them to watch you just you see the little number down here with the little head by it if you have your chat box open you might not see it so you can just click the lower X on the chat box to close that and then tap the head right there and you'll see a list of the people that are watching and if you click on the share button you can click to share it it'll share it out on Twitter it'll share it out on Facebook or however you want you can copy the link awesome if you share with your followers then they get that little tweet notification that says um, like it'll say APT to wander or apt to wander <laughs> would uh, wants you to watch this video and then they get a little notification even though they don't follow me they will get notified that this video is live right now and they can come and watch it so it's kind of a good way to spread out the word that this is going on um, that's a great question Sarah uh, the connectivity depends I'm I did this one for sure at home because I wanted to be connected to my Wi-Fi and hope that it wouldn't be spotty I know we done we've done a bunch when we're walking to Starbucks and obviously the connection can be a little bit trickier there because we're using our data and not right. the Wi-Fi but um, I'm not having I'm not noticing any issues on my end but I do notice it when I'm watching other people that it'll say like poor connection waiting to connect things like that so um, a lot of times if you wait and then watch it as a replay I think it works out those issues and then you can watch it that way um, but yeah I definitely think you're gonna want to when you're doing like a serious one like this one I really wanted to be able to connect with everyone and keep a good connection because we're gonna be talking a lot and answering questions and I wanted to see your comments so I think Wi-Fi is definitely key okay good I'm glad you guys are thinking it's doing fine that's good um, do you guys have any other questions at this point or I, I will look at my notes and see what I was going to talk about next. Awesome. And you're in Tennessee. I'm coming out your way next week. We should try to meet up, Cotton Bottom. Um, we're going to be in Nashville Tuesday through Friday. Um, I It might be hard to keep up with the questions. It actually is hard even though it hasn't caught on quite yet because you're trying to keep your train of thought as you're speaking and then you have to kind of try to read um, as the the questions are going. Desiree, you're in Nashville too? Oh, we should definitely do a meetup. Um, how to spray an all-in-one diaper with a spray pal. Yesterday I sprayed a one-handed sprayer. Uh, oh, I missed some of those comments. I missed the ones after that spray pal comment. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of great stuff with Periscope for sure. And I think once it catches on, it might be harder. But I do know too, hi Melissa, I remember meeting you at ABC Kids last year. Um, I do know too that when you, um, oh gosh, see, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so I was going to say something about the, uh, 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 what were we just talking about? Oh, flipping around the camera, yes, it definitely does. When you double tap to switch the camera direction, 
you want to pause and not talking. Um, if blocking people blocks me from seeing them or kicks them out, I believe it kicks them out and it deletes all their previous comments. So when I've blocked people and looked back in the replays, I can't read their nasty comments anymore. So definitely use the block feature. Um, yeah, I'm a fast talker. <laughs> I try not to be, but especially with this, it's so hard not to lose your train of thought if you're not talking really fast. So, um, okay, let me check my notes. So I wanted to give you like a basic overview on where to start. So you guys already downloaded the app, obviously, so that's great. Um, I would recommend going through your list. It'll show you like recommended people to follow based on your Twitter people. Thank you. And, um, I would recommend going through and following some of your favorites because then they'll know that you're on Periscope now and they might follow you back. And also, if they're actively using it, and you can tell by the hearts if they're using it or not, um, you can watch some of their Periscopes to kind of get a feel for what kind of things they're doing. And no problem, Sarah. You can watch later if you want to, if you need more tips. We're going to keep going. Um, have a great lunch. And so I, I recommend following some people and even people on Periscope, it'll give you some recommended like top or most favorite Periscopers. And I went through and looked at a couple that I thought might be up my alley. There's this one guy in London who has like a couple hundred thousand followers and like 50 million hearts on his page. And so, I mean, he he's kind of not my style, but I totally go in and jump in on his broadcast because I just want to learn from him and see what he's doing. So I'd recommend doing that too. And that reminds me what I was going to say before when I lost my train of thought. Um, someone was asking if it would get complicated as there's too many people in the group to keep your thoughts straight and answer all the questions and stuff. And when I'm in his periscopes, this, this really popular Periscope guy, um, I've noticed that if you don't jump in right away when he goes live, it will not give me the chat box option and it'll say broadcast to full. So I think that it limits how many people can actually comment so that it doesn't get so crazy and overwhelming. Um, I, I'm not sure what the number is. I was trying, he'll get like 700 people in there. And so I think it's like the first hundred that can maybe watch and comment but everyone else can watch and I think everyone else can give hearts too but what I'll do is I will jump out when he has his broadcast too full and then jump back in in a little bit and usually then I can start commenting and I like to throw a comment in on these popular people's ones because then it should I'll just say like hi from California or whatever and but it gets your name out you know and I might even get a couple followers from people being like oh this person's active in Periscope they must know what they're doing <laughs> and then they'll start following me on Periscope too so I have to pretend like I do know what I'm doing right <laughs> so um Anyways, that's like where I would start. Just find some followers, try to get some followers on your account and just watch a bunch of Periscopes to see what people are doing. Some people are using it for business purposes and some people are using it for random stuff like the piano player in um, Europe that you were just mentioning. I watched some guy drive to work in Paris the other night and um, it was morning for them. He was going to work and he was like going the roundabout at the Champs-Élysées and I was, this is so amazing. I can just sit here and watch this like I'm there. Um, that's a good question, Sarah, about scheduling or doing them spontaneously. So you guys know we're pretty random on social media. Like we're business, but we're family and we share behind the scenes stuff and we're totally random. And oh, thank you. Your husband's awesome. Keep tapping. <laughs> Um, so basically what I'm learning is that if we're doing something random that's not business related, we'll just like yesterday we went through the car wash and it was super fun. <laughs> and um, and I wouldn't broadcast that as like a pre-scheduled thing. I would just do it on the spur of the moment if we had something kind of funny going on. But um, as far as like something like this, I would definitely schedule it and I would definitely promote it on your other social media avenues so that people will know. A lot of people don't even have the app yet. So you kind of have to promote it ahead of time and say, hey, you guys, I'm going to do this on Periscope. You're going to want to see it. So get the app and follow me and, and then you can watch as it happens. And then they'll start getting notifications for all your stuff. So I would definitely pick like one topic a day maybe that you're going to want to schedule out and you could even do, we could start doing like instead of Facebook chats and Twitter parties and things like that, you can do a Periscope party. I'm still trying to figure out the giveaway thing. I did a Green Child, hi Egypt, um, I did a Green Child magazine takeover of Periscope the other night and we did a giveaway on there and it was 
totally crazy and a weird way to do it, but it was, it was fun and it worked. Um, but I think there are some, you know what? I actually do have some legal links. I just remembered someone shared with me about how to run a giveaway legally on Periscope, things like that. So I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Um, so I would look into the legalities of that, but I would definitely schedule the, the official things out and then leave some stuff random and fun. Um, so I had something else I was going to say about that and now I just forgot. Um, does anyone have any questions at this point while I gather my thoughts again? So I've been talking like a racetrack horse. No questions. You guys are good. There was something else. Thank you so much, Egypt. Um, <laughs> What else were we going to talk about? Um, I had something good, too. It was a juicy one, and I totally lost it. Giveaways, I kind of covered that. We're still trying to figure that one out because, okay, so with random giveaways on Facebook, you can see all the comments and you use them to choose a winner. But with Periscope, when you look back at the list of who was in there, you can't actually... Um, hi, Parking Pal. I wish I could, <laughs> but you know, kind of busy with spray pal. But I love that we're both pals. Um, okay, my husband has a quick question. Go for it. For some reason, um, okay, because the procedure is going to take twice as long. Okay. And now they have Newport. Yeah. All, all, all openings. So okay. Eight, eight thirty, nine. Let's eight, do eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. Okay. Scheduling MRIs. Ah, crazy time. Okay. Train of thought. So. So the way I did it, because you can't see all the people on the list of who viewed to do a giveaway and pick a random winner that way, like for some reason it'll show you like the top 12 people in the list who viewed it and then it'll say, and 25 more, and you can't see who they are. So you can't really use that list as a random way to pick winners. So the way we did it was we had one person who was like the judge kind of watching the comments and we had people comment with a certain number or a certain answer and then we picked a random answer out of that. So I know I hate it too, it's very frustrating. I think that as Periscope kind of evolves, those kinds of things will change hopefully. So. But it's very good to get in on the ground level. Like right now is the time because if you think about YouTube when it started, the people who started out with it, um, just they're huge now, right? And it, if, if we are on the breaking ground level of this thing and it blows up like I think it's going to, then we will be the ones that are like huge down the road when, when this is like a thing of the past. It's like, this is, this is what everybody does now, you know? Um, somebody just asked a good question and I kind of forgot it. What was it? It was something about, um, so you just do something and I can't even remember. Have you tried about, I have not tried Meerkat at all. I have heard about it and I heard it's a similar thing to this, but I didn't try it. Um, this got me hooked because somebody else I knew was doing it and they were talking about it at Alt Summit and it was so easy to sign up because it was connected with Twitter. And, oh, I remember what someone asked. They asked if I shared a link to this or if I just did anything when I broadcast. And you don't have to because I, even the very first time, like Dave and I were walking to Starbucks and um, yeah, there's no links to share. It, it, it's weird. I don't even actually know exactly how it works because the first time we did it, we were walking to Starbucks and I was telling him about it and I had kind of watched a couple people on it, but I'd never broadcast. I'm like, let's just try one and see. And we flipped the camera and turned it on and said, walking to Starbucks. That was our title. Don't forget to put a title. Oh, I have something else I want to say about location. Remind me if I forget that I want to talk about location. Um, so we were walking to Starbucks and we turned it on and we were all of a sudden broadcasting and I thought no one would watch because I was like, I didn't share this anywhere. I'm just testing it out. And all of a sudden, all the little notifications popped up that all these people were in there and they were giving hearts and stuff and I was like how did this happen we didn't say anything like how did these people find us and I was asking that out loud you know not really realizing that people were kind of hearing me like this and people started typing in like oh you um I got a notification my phone dinged and then I bumped I jumped in and here you were walking to Starbucks and it was crazy I guess it was somehow through Twitter and my Twitter followers got that but um yeah, so I agree. Location, I mean, time of day is important. Just like all social media, there's like certain times that seem to be better for everybody. And I do think that for businesses who are trying to do kind of professional stuff on Periscope, um, early more like this time of day, 9.30, 10.30 in the morning is good. Bye, have fun. Um, 
and maybe an afternoon, but as you get later into the night, you'll start to notice things kind of switching in the time zones and like where I'm from, it'll be a lot of Hollywood stuff and stuff I just don't need to see. I do love like the Disneyland fireworks and World of Color. I'll pop in on those. I saw a 311 concert. I saw like, it's kind of cool. You can see a bunch of, Kenny Chesney was playing last night somewhere and I saw that. Um, but so yeah, I think there's gonna be an evolution to figuring out when the best time of day for this kind of thing is, but I do think for a business, the best time is just like during normal business hours. Um, but then you have the time zones and everything to contend with too. So you kind of have to play around with it and see what works best. Um, and then I was gonna say something about location. So when you are broadcasting, um, you are going to want to, it, it will have an option like, oh, it did say, it had a little Twitter bird, and I think that's why it shares it to my Twitter. But then on the other side, it has like a little location icon, and you can leave that on or you can turn it off. The default, I think, is to have it on, which is fine for like when I was walking to Starbucks and I wasn't in my home, I didn't mind having it on, but... Now that I'm doing it from my home, I turned the location setting off because I don't really want people who are on the internet that I don't know um, knowing exactly where I'm broadcasting from. It's just for privacy and security and stuff like that. So I um, use your discretion. I, I will say though, if you have the location setting turned on, it goes onto the map more easily and people might pop in just randomly so if you're trying to like broadcast to everyone, maybe go somewhere outside of your house, like a Starbucks or something, and, and broadcast from there and use the location setting on because it doesn't matter for privacy reasons where you are, but it'll get more viewers to your, your, your Periscope. But like I said, if you're home, you already have your followers on Twitter and everyone that will get notified, just leave the settings off because you don't need to be sharing that. Um, archive video URL to be shared Okay, so yes, if once this is done, you can click on share and there will be a copy URL option so that you can share the link outside of Periscope. But the people can only view that link, which links back to Periscope, if they have the Periscope app. So I've shared it a couple times on Facebook, but um, people have to have the app in order to view it. But it might encourage them to upload the app because they might want to see it. So, um, but yeah, that is one way to share it but they have to have the app. But when you're, like I said this earlier and I'll say it again, when you're recording, like right now I'm recording this, it's saving this video to my phone as not a Periscope app. It won't have the little comments and the little hearts and all that stuff in it. It's just a regular video, but it will save to my phone and then you could upload it. So if you're doing a useful tutorial or a, a demo of your product, you can save that on your phone. It'll be saved on your phone automatically and then you can upload it to YouTube and share it again that way and more people can see it. So that's pretty, pretty useful. Um, all right. I think that's pretty good for now. <laughs> that was kind of a lot. And I'm sure I'm going to be learning more as I go. And you can keep, if you want to follow me and I will do more broadcasts like this to kind of help you guys out as we explore um, Periscope, go for it. I would love to have more followers joining in on these. And if you have any questions, um, you can leave them here for the next few seconds or also you can go back you can watch this for the next 24 hours and you can still give hearts and everything on a replay view um, but you can't leave comments so um, that's just another thing for that but you can leave me questions and comments on our Facebook page or on Twitter or on Instagram and then I can use those questions to address them in another broadcast so yay thank you guys there's my mom hi mom <laughs> She's green. She gives me all the hearts. <laughs> all right. Thank you. See you next time.